Hi everyone, today I'm here for my February favorites and before I get started, I just want to make a quick announcement. It's a very very exciting new segment I'm adding to my channel. It's called Crystal's Morning Talk. Um, I, in short, I call it Crystal's MT. And in this segment, I'll basically be vlogging. Uh, so I know some of you want to know like kind of my life or other things outside of makeup. and. I will be doing that in my morning talk videos and this idea was actually inspired by Sasaki Asaki's vlog channel. You know, she does kind of, you know, go out just bare face and apply her skincare while talking to, to people about, you know, things she's interested in or topics that's outside of her normal beauty videos. So I also kind of wanted to do that so I'll just basically be waking up no makeup and just you know talk to you guys a little bit of heart to heart and I'll also be covering topics um, beauty or non-beauty related so I may sometimes I'll throw in some extra product reviews sometimes I'll talk about you know travels like places I've been to and sometimes I'll talk about school like sometimes I'll talk about health and diet um, or like cooking or I don't know just like a variety of topics so I feel like this will definitely bring more variety to my channel and I really hope you guys enjoy this new segment. Currently, I decide to upload two Morning Talks videos per month, um, so one Chinese and one English video. Um, but I may increase that number and I'll see how it goes. I'll see whether you guys like it or not. If you guys like it, I'll increase that to four videos a month and that will be three English videos and one Chinese videos. So. We'll see how it goes and I do hope you guys give me lots of feedback so once you see the video is up just you know tell me in the comment box what you think about it. So yeah, that's the new segment I'm going to be adding and I hope you guys are excited for it. I am super excited for it so we'll see how it goes. And now let's move on to the February favorites. First, I have been really really loving this Skin Life Cleanser. I talked about this in my previous haul video and I absolutely love it. Um, it is really really gentle moisturizing and I love to use this with a foamy net because it foams up really really well. It gives you very very thick and fine foams um, and also I found that after I started using this, my skin becomes more balanced and I have less pimples or like blackheads or like poor problems so if you actually use the right product it really will help the overall condition of your skin really out of all the foaming cleansers i've tried before this one is definitely my favorite give it a try if you have problem with enlarged pores or acne skin or even if you have dry skin like i do it's not drying at all so definitely love this product Next one is a toner I tried out recently. I'm sure a lot of you know the Albion uh, Skin Conditioner. It's really, really famous toner in Japan, and it's very, very, very expensive. I have also tried it before, but I didn't like it too much because I felt that it had too much um, alcohol in there, so it has a really, really strong alcohol smell, and also it's kind of irritating to my skin. But I tried out this recently. This is the Hato Muki Skin Conditioner, and this, um, a lot of people say that this is a dupe for the Albion Essential Conditioner, and I totally agree. I really felt like this uh, this toner is much more effective than the Albion one. It's more moisturizing, it's not as drying on the skin, and it is so much cheaper as well. So, um, this 500 milliliter bottle, I bought it for like $20 ish, so it was really good price. And I felt like um, if you have dry skin and you found the Albion conditioner a little bit too drying and too harsh for your skin, then I definitely recommend trying this out. It still has alcohol in there, but it's one of the like last ingredients in there versus the Albion ones. I think it's the first with the second ingredients, which means it contained a lot more alcohol in the Albion conditioner than this one. And this one has drops tear essence and like um, moisturizing ingredients as well. It feels really, really nice on the skin. And I love to use this um, for a toner mask for just like a three minute refreshing toner mask. It's really, really great for that. 
first the Lululun um, Rose Mask. This one is so much better than the original one. It is pretty moisturizing. Not as moisturizing as these or the My Beauty Diary She Masks, but I think these are great to use every day. Like if you just want the refreshing face mask during the night or even in the mornings, you can use this. I only leave it on for about five minutes because I found that it dries out quite fast. Um, it's not as thick of a sheet as the other sheet masks, so you cannot leave this on for too long. But it is pretty good as a refreshing mask and I recommend it to people with oily skin and also to people who like to use sheet masks every day. It doesn't make your skin feel really burdened. Um, it doesn't contain too much essence, so it's really really nice and gives and has a really nice rosy scent as well. My my new discovery and I have to admit these are some cool quite amazing sheet masks um, are the Leader Solutions mask. I've already tried three sheets and I do really like them. The texture of the serum is slightly different. Uh, the My Beauty Diary mask is more like an essence texture. The essence in here are more like a gel, gel type of texture. Um, yeah, I don't know how to describe it. Almost like a aloe gel type of texture. So it's a little bit thicker. It's very, very effective though. All these sheet masks are really nice at whatever they claim to do. Um, and also, I found that with these sheet masks, I can leave them on for a little bit longer because they don't really dry out at, as easily. Probably because of the gel-like serum. It holds the water in so it does not dry out as easily. Um, and I've I would say that this will be great for long airplane flights because you can leave them on for a little bit longer and it does not dry out as much. Another mask I've been really really loving this month is this tofu yogurt mask. I'm not sure about the English name but I'll put the name and the link to this product down below in the info box. I really really love this cream mask because it does a great job brightening and moisturizing your skin. However, when you use it, you have to use it in a slightly thicker layer because if you just apply a very thin layer, it doesn't really do much. So when you apply it, make sure you apply it in a thicker layer and just you know pile it on a little bit and leave it on for a little longer. I normally leave it on for like 20 to 25 minutes and then remove it. When you remove it, just use a washcloth or um, you know like a cotton pad or something to wipe it off first and then rinse your skin with water. Last skincare product is this Rin Rose uh, O12 Moisturizing Defense Oil. As you guys know, I've been pretty obsessed with oil skincare recently and I've tried out many many different facial oils and this one is my favorite so far. It does a really really great job hydrating our skin without breaking me out. Um, but I only recommend this for people with dry skin though because it's a thicker texture, like a thicker oil. So if you have combination oily skin, you might want to choose a um, more light texture. And I know I still have to do the video on facial oil. I We'll do that video, it will come up very soon. So don't worry, you will see my reviews on all the oils I've tried. And for all of you who have oily combination skin, I also have other recommendations for you. But for people with really dry skin, I definitely recommend the Ren Rose Moisturizing Defense Oil. So for makeup, I've been really loving the Shu Uemura Stage Performer BB Perfector. This is the BB cream I used in my uh, Jiang Jian, My Love from the Star um, makeup tutorial and I've been using it almost every day ever since because it is seriously one of my favorite high-end BB creams. My old favorite was the Dior Snow BB cream and I actually think this one does a better job than the Dior one um, because it's really really natural on the skin. It lasts pretty long and it gives your skin that really really nice glow which I absolutely love but it's not oily at all. It's a very very natural glow which I love very very much. It also has SPF 30 PA double plus so it's great as a daily sunscreen as well. And another kind of glowy face product I've been absolutely loving is the Smashbox Fusion Soft Light Baked Stardust. This is a highlighter that I have seriously never heard anybody talk about but I just kind of wanted to try it just kind of on whim, I don't know. I just like swatched it in the store, I think, in Sephora and I was like, oh, this is really pretty. So I decided to give it a try. This is seriously one of my favorite highlighters. I don't know why people like don't rave about this but this is a fantastic highlighter. I think this is like truly 
a soft light highlighter. It gives your skin that really soft glow without making your skin looking too dry or like extra shiny or too metallic. So if you are someone who also likes a really natural highlight, then you can definitely give this a try. It just gives your skin that luminous glow, but it does not it's not too too obvious so um, definitely recommend this I think this can be used on any skin tone even if you have slightly oily skin um, you wouldn't feel like this is too much shine on your skin definitely definitely recommend it give it a try and finally I've been really really loving this YSL um, 2013 Christmas collection blush um, this is the palette Parisian night and it's so pretty and cute inside the color is really really nice and it's really really fine in texture it's the finest blush I have ever came across it like even if you um, use a brush with it it does not come off at, at all there's no fly out um, that's how finely pressed it is and the color it's so flattering but I feel like this pink is not a very unique color it's just a very natural pretty color so if you already have a lot of pink blushes this might not be necessary but if you're someone like new to makeup and you want a really 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 high quality pink blush that's flattering on almost all skin tones then definitely give this a try it's a really really healthy uh, neutral pink color it's not too cool tone not too warm flattering on all skin tones so that's it for my favorite favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you'd like to try out any of these products, please go down below in the info box. I'll try to find links to all of them and put them down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!